we're starting this song on the 7th fret on the D string, on the 9th fret on the G string, and 10th fret on the B string. He record this on his looper. Then it goes to the 14th fret on the D string and B string. He starts from the B string and plays. Four times, then it slides down to the seventh fret with the same shape. We play this twice, so eight times. Then it slides down two steps to the ninth fret. that. So from the beginning okay that is so far then it goes back to here again but now with this finger on the A string on the 12th fret and he plays so A string, D string, B string slides down to the 5th fret where he adds his finger on the 5th fret on the A string so from here note a couple of times. Then it goes back but now it goes down two steps plays each note one time then it goes into this so on the 9th fret on the A string 11th fret on the D string and 10th fret of the B, B string. Then it goes to the 7th fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D string and B string. Same shape, two steps down to the 5th fret, then to the A short. So an open A, 2nd fret on D string, G string, and B string. So, together. And he plays that 4 times. So on. So everything from the beginning Hope you're with me this long into the song. Then it goes to the chord parts, chord part of this song. He begins on the second fret on the E string with his thumb, on the fourth fret on the A and D string, second fret on the G and B.
then to a, an E. So open E string, I, E string, yes. Second fret on the A string and D string. And first fret on the G string. My strings are a bit off tune. <laughs> okay, and then it goes to a D. So an open D string. Second fret on the G string. Third fret on the B string. Then an open E. Then he plays the E, e string. Go, goes back to an A. So, so far. Then he finish out with an open A string. Fourth fret on the E string. Slight bend. And then he uh, repeats this sequence four times. So it should sound like this. goes back to this part again. But this time he record this part on his looper. So now you get two things playing in your looper. You got this part from the beginning. Then you got there there is one more thing that you should add to your looper and it is something like, like this second fret on the G string fifth fret on the E then slides down to the fourth fret on the E string 2nd fret and back to the 5th fret so I did something like this or You can see you can make up your own version of it. Okay, so now that you got everything recorded on your looper, it's time to you to improvise your solo. So the solo you can improvise in A major. So I played it right here. So I hope you recognize recognize this uh, pentatonic so good luck with the solo and the song and um, see you next time enjoy <laughs>